Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am so excited. This is a fun one. I have not done a video like this yet on my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of my most expensive makeup, telling you what I think is worth it and what's not. Two things that are very exciting about this video. One, this video is in collaboration with my friend Erin Nicole here on YouTube and Instagram. If you guys don't know about her, she is so beautiful. Like, so beautiful. Donny. And she has the best taste in luxury makeup. She knows what she's talking about when it comes to luxury beauty So I know you guys will love her. Her videos are so poised and put together. She's extremely professional So definitely check her out I will put her Instagram and YouTube channel down below as well as her video So basically what we're doing is we are both doing a face of our most expensive makeup and we are going to see who has the most expensive face? I think Erin got it because she has so much luxury makeup, but I did try my best. I put up a good fight. We'll see. So make sure you check out her video to see who won our little challenge and just see what other luxury products she has. She has a lot of different luxury products than I do. We kind of focus on different brands. So she does a lot of Chanel and things like that. So I definitely think this was a great collaboration, especially for that as well. So check out her channel. Something really awesome about the timing of our collaboration as well is that it is during the time of the Sephora VIB sale. So I always say the VIB sale is the perfect time to purchase luxury makeup because you get a discount on this really expensive makeup. All of my links down below, if the product is available at Sephora, I put the Sephora link to it. So you need to go right now, put the items that you want in your cart so that you can get them for 20% off because it is not often that luxury makeup goes on sale. So if you're gonna do it, do it now. And I have some great products in this video that I can recommend to you guys. So anyways, I know I've just jibber jabbered a lot. Let's get into my full face of my most expensive makeup. So before we get into the makeup, skin prep is always important. I normally don't do my skin prep in front of the camera, but for today's video, I will. Mostly because skincare is like the most expensive thing in beauty. <laughs> So I'm starting off with the La Mer, the Moisturizing Cool Gel Cream. I love this moisturizer. It has cured my skin in its time of need. It is $180. So I don't use this as my regular moisturizer, but I do treat myself to use it. So I'm just going to apply that all over my skin. I love gel moisturizers. I just feel like they sink into the skin better for me. So the next item that I'm going to be using is eye cream. Eye cream, I feel like, is very important no matter what age you are. Not only for the long-term benefits, but actually it makes your concealer look a lot better. The concealer will blend so much easier on your eyes, and it's not going to cake up and sink into fine lines as quick as it would if you were not to apply eye cream. It's the moisturizer for your under eyes. And, you know, if you don't moisturize your skin before, before putting foundation on it, ugh. Same thing with concealer. That's a very, very important tip for you guys. So the eye cream that I use is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. Now I have a bunch of different eye creams. I've been working on this one. This one was a bit of a splurge for me. It is $60, but it works really great. I really do enjoy it. And it just was a lot of product. So this has lasted me quite a long time. Make sure you pat the under eyes because that area is so, so sensitive. But honestly, guys, I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but this is the biggest tip for concealer. It makes a world of difference. On my clients, no matter what age they are, I am putting eye cream underneath their eyes. So while that sinks in, it is time to moisturize the lips. You want to moisturize the lips at the beginning of your makeup routine because you want it to sink in while you're applying the rest of your makeup. So today I'm using the Emile Cordon Miracle Lip Balm. Now this is their new limited edition lip balm for the summer. This is in Hampton Summer. It's kind of minty but these lip balms are so beautiful they are sixty dollars but they're so light on the lips they are perfect for pre-makeup application because they're not too thick and they just they feel luxurious and i know some of you guys who follow me love these lip balms and can back me up that these are really good i know sixty dollars is a lot this is you know it's made in usa and it is a really, really lovely lip balm. All right, so last step. This has been a part of my makeup routine for the past three months now. I've experimented with different brands, but this one does not break me out. I started having a huge problem here because of the sunscreen I was using. I've been loving the Clay de Peau sunscreen. This is $130, which is ridiculous. 
this but I'm telling you for some reason all these sunscreens are breaking me out and this one does not break me out I know normally I don't apply sunscreen in my videos because it's just an additional step that's wasting time but for your normal makeup routine you need to be applying a sunscreen now this one though it's great and doesn't break me out as you can see it does apply a little bit of a white cast to my skin luckily we're putting foundation on top so it's okay but when I actually wear the sunscreen without makeup it looks a little bit weirder because I just have this white cast on my face and I look sick. I really, really like the sunscreen. So finally, it is time to start heading into the makeup. We are going to start off with my primer. This is a beautiful primer. Great time to pick it up during the sale. This is the Tom Ford Illuminating Primer. This is $76, which, whew, she is pricey. But oh my gosh, if you love an illuminating base, you will love this. It's just such a natural shine to the skin. I feel like a lot of times brands think that illuminating primers need to be glittery or metallic on your skin, and they don't need to be. This is like glossy. This really is the most natural illuminating finish. Don't get me wrong, I do like a metallic illuminating base and all of that, but this is honestly the most natural and it sinks into the skin really beautifully. This is kind of my secret obsession that I don't talk about enough. It is so good, such a good base. All right, so now it's time to move to foundations. This is probably my all-time favorite foundation, this along with the Dior Air Flash foundation. This is the La Mer, the Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. If you've been thinking about this, please get it during the Sephora sale. This is my all-time favorite foundation. I use it for special occasions. It wears beautifully. It's my good luck foundation. Really good time to pick it up because this is $120, which is quite a lot of money, but it is so beautiful. and. I I love this shade. It matches me perfectly. It is a true neutral undertone, so it actually matches me. And it's honestly, it's just the best out there. Of course, it is super pricey. And if you don't have the money for it, no, it's absolutely not worth it. But if you do have the money for it, I think you are really going to enjoy this foundation. So many people I know who have tried it absolutely loved it. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. So this is the way that I do my makeup in this order. So next we're going to move on to eyebrows. So the eyebrow product that I chose is the Visi Art Eyebrow Palette. So this is $80. It can be used as both an eyebrow palette as well as an eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, these are great colors for eyeshadows as well. So it's not just one purpose. I do do others makeup, so this is great for me. It is a newer item in my collection, but I have been absolutely loving it. So I was really excited to talk about it in this video. It has such great colors. And again, if you are not a makeup artist, that's okay because you can actually use these as eyeshadows as well. I've been playing around with different colors on myself and depending on the type of makeup look I use would be the colors that I use because some are warmer, some are ashier, and I just really like having that versatility. So I'm actually just going to kind of speed through this process because I can't talk during this. Alright, so the eyebrows are looking good. I am actually now going to apply an eyebrow gel. So I'm just using, this isn't a luxury product. I don't have any luxury eyebrow gels. This is just the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. This is really great. I love the bristles on here that brush out and separate the eyebrows. This is $24 and I'm just going to use that to set my brows in place all day and kind of brush them through and guide them in the direction that I want them to go. Alright, so now it's time to work on concealer. Lately, I've been loving this. This, again, is not a luxury product, but it is kind of pricey. This is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector in the shade Light to Medium. For some reason, I feel like my under eyes are kind of darkening, so this has been the perfect corrector. This is $32, and I'm just going to take that and pop that right underneath my eye. And as you can see, instantly really brightening. 
I try to be pretty light with application on this because I don't want it to build up and disrupt the concealer at all. So I just really want it to give that brightening effect to my under eye. But as you can see, just that product alone really made a huge difference. So for concealer, I have the Clay de Po Radiant Corrector. I have mine in the shade Ochre. This is $65. Anything from Clay de Po is pricey and I'm just gonna use that right underneath my eyes. As you can see, is a bit too dark for me. I bought this a long, long time ago. Do not know why I thought this was a good shade for me, but it is the most expensive concealer that I own, so I need to make it work. Formulation-wise, though, this is so beautiful. It looks so creamy and moisturizing underneath the eyes. I think that mature skin would really react well with this concealer. It's just very beautiful. Maybe not the most high coverage, but the most beautiful, natural finish. So $65 is a lot, but this is actually really, really good. All right, so we are going to do some cream contouring and shading and coloring. So I chose the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate. So this is just an illuminator and a cream contour. Now I need to go in with a very light hand for this because this color is a bit dark for me, but it's such a beautiful formula. It is a very popular item from Tom Ford. A lot of people love it. It's constantly sold out. I checked online before I filmed this video and it is currently still available. So I would say if you do want to pick this up during the Sephora sale, put it in your basket now. Go to my link down below and put it in your basket right now and order it early on just in case it does sell out because surprisingly, I didn't think it was true when people would say it, but surprisingly, things really do sell out fast. All of the good stuff on the Sephora website for the sale so if there's something that you really really want make sure you order it early because a lot of the goods really do sell out so i just decided that using a sponge would apply it a little bit better and more natural and as you can see that is the case i love a cream contour there's something about it that just looks more natural i am going to take the butt of this and put in a little bit of the illuminator just right at the top of my cheeks this is a way to add just a really natural highlight it's not like a glowy shimmery highlight there's just something that casts a little extra reflection on your skin and it is really beautiful if you want that very very natural look i don't think i mentioned this by the way this is 88 dollars, but it is a beautiful cream formula and i don't talk about it enough it is stunning as you can see that just blended right into the skin and i look glowy and fresh I love it. So I do want to apply just a touch of cream blush. So I am bringing out the Natasha Denona Diamonds and Blush Palette in the shade Daria. Now this palette's very special to me because this is one of the very first things that I reviewed on my channel. And in here there is a beautiful cream blush. Now this palette is $89 but you get six full sized cheek products in here. So if you want to do the calculations that way, this is actually a very, very good value. It's just $89, but you really do get a good amount of product. So I'm just putting that cream blush on my cheeks. A beauty blender really is the best way to go with this type of stuff. But as you can see, that gives me a very fresh amount of color. I am going to go on with powder later, but I did just want to kind of start off my base with all cream products and I'm loving it. So now it's time to get a little bit of powder on my face. So to start off by powdering my under eyes, I'm embarrassed to show you this for a couple reasons. <laughs> so I'm going to be using La Mer, the powder. Now I don't even want to show you the packaging because this is the old packaging. I have cherished this powder for years in my collection. This is definitely expired, but do I intend on throwing it away? Absolutely not. It still works beautifully. I'm only using it on myself. I'm taking the risk. They did repackage it and it is a worse value now so I still have the big Kuna holder thingy for it so this powder is $95 but honestly it is truly the best loose setting powder it is better than Laura Mercier uh, it's better than any loose powder I've ever tried I don't use it that much I only use this for special occasions but this is a cherished product in my collection nothing smooths my skin out more nothing wears more beautifully I really should buy it during the sale because I will get it for 20 percent off but oh, this is just the most beautiful loose powder formula if you are a luxury makeup lover definitely give this powder a go it is worth every penny if you have the money the best powder ever 
So next thing I'm going to be doing is bronzing the face with a powder product. So that's going to set the cream contour as well as add a little bit more warmth to the face because the Tom Ford is a little bit more cool. This is a bit more warm. This is the La Mer, the bronzing powder. This is $85, but it is amazing. It smells delicious. It smells expensive. Like, it just smells really good and clean and fresh. Honestly, I don't think I've ever talked about this bronzer on my channel. I think I just bought it a little bit late and it kind of got lost in all of the things that I needed to talk about. But it is a really nice bronzer. It blends very beautifully to the skin. Now, last I checked, this was sold out at Nordstrom, but I don't know. It is a very, very nice bronzer, but... I don't know that it's completely necessary in one's collection, but I do love the smell of it. It really just makes using it so nice. So that is the bronzer. As you can see, it just kind of set me down. I feel a little bit better because I have a lot of cream products on. So before I get to finishing the blush and the highlighter, I do want to move on to the eyes. So I'm going to start off with an eyeshadow primer. And I'm going to be honest, I don't know how old this is because this was sitting in the very back bottom of my drawer. I completely forgot I had it, but this is the Trish McAvoy Eye Base Essentials. This is $35. This is the most expensive eye primer that I own. And I mean, Trish McAvoy is not a super cheap brand. I don't think I've ever really talked about using their products on my channel, but growing up, my mom loved Trish McAvoy. So I just kind of have a soft spot for them because I remember my mom using them. But honestly, I really cannot tell you anything about this eye base other than it's clumping up. But I'm going to attribute that to this being old as ever and expired. I probably should just throw this away after this video. This has gotta go. It's like drying up on my eyelids before I even, I guess it needs a finger to be spread. Ugh, I don't know. So hopefully that doesn't disrupt the eyeshadow too much, but of course eyeshadow is one of the things that I was most excited to talk about. We have, dun 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 dun. This is the Natasha Denona 28 Green Brown Palette. Look at this. Isn't it stunning? This is a whopping $239 palette, but it is absolutely beautiful. These 28 Pam palettes from Natasha Denona have like the best formula ever. They're better than her other palettes. There's just something special about these 28 Pam palettes. So if you can get your hands on these, I would recommend it. I honestly think Natasha Denona is trying to phase these out because they took these out of Sephora stores. They are still online, but they're harder to find. And usually that's the typical pattern for them trying to get rid of products. You know, Natasha Denona is going in a little bit of a different direction now with their new products. So I don't know. I'm so scared that this is no longer going to be sold because it's the best formula. So I would say if you've been eyeing it, definitely pick it up while you can. Um, we're going to do a simple look because I do want to work with a lid topper today. So I'm going to start off with this color right here and apply that to the crease. And then we're gonna deepen that up with a little bit of a matte chocolate shade. So this shade is a little bit more warm. I am going to use that for just a little bit of warmth to the crease. So I'm just lightly gonna spread that through. I'm going to take this cream shade right here and I'm using the same brush for all of this. I don't know if you guys noticed, but yeah, don't feel like you need to own a billion brushes and I'm just using that right underneath the brow. By the way, this is the Isom G34. It is bomb, like the most amazing crease brush. And then we're gonna keep it pretty simple on the eyelid because I do wanna go in with a really cool metallic lid topper that I wanna show you. So I'm gonna go for this color right here. It is a shiny color because I do wanna show you how pretty the shimmer formula in this palette is. Is that not stunning? And I just lightly dabbed into this Pam. Like, yes, this palette is ridiculously priced, but honestly, the quality reflects it. I'm gonna just be honest. Alrighty, so now I want to move on to the lid toppers I wanted to share with you guys. These are the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Colors. 
I love these. I think more people need to get on board with these. They are stunning. So these are $65 each. Obviously, you know Tom Ford is whew, up there. I have a really pretty bronzy color, but I think I'm going to go for the lighter color. This is Young Adonis. So how it works is you pull the bottom out and you have cream shade. So I'm just going to take that and just put that right on top. I know I'm doing it a little unconventionally, but it's okay. As you can see, that cream shadow is still like stunning. And it really did just add that extra pizzazz to the eyelid. Something a powder shadow just cannot replicate. And once that shadow is down, you're going to pull the top off and you have a coordinated powder color. Now this is a little bit more sheer in this specific color, but it has just the most pretty reflex that stick right to the cream base that really open up the eyes and add that extra pizzazz to the lid which makes it special now i i'm not sure but i don't think sephora has a ton of colors in this specific formula but it's worth checking out for sure blend it in to make it seem a bit more seamless but yeah i'm just doing a really simple look today and i'm loving that. So before I finish the eyes, I do want to take some time to go back to the face. I really want to create a blushing, glowing look. So I do have a few other fun products to mention to you guys. So I'm going to go back to the Natasha Denona blush palette and I'm going to take the actual blush and these two were made for each other. So I'm going to keep that going, but I'm just going to apply just a little bit because I have a really glowy product that I want to put on top. So I'm just lightly patting that right on top. That is is setting the cream blush and the two are just melting together super pretty so this next palette that I'm using is one of my favorites for a glowy complexion this is the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm face palette this is the lightgasm this honestly has become one of my favorite releases of the year this is $75 but it is the most gorgeous gorgeous palette what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a highlight brush this isn't really a highlight brush, but this will do. So I'm going to go into the Glow Extreme palette. And I'm just going to lightly put just a little bit right on the tops. Now what's good about using a big brush like this is it really does blend it into the skin. So it looks like your skin is actually glowing. And this color does have a little bit of diamond powder in it. So if you don't like super glittery, I don't need that highlight. This palette doesn't have glitter, it's just glow. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is put this right on top from I mean do you see that and I mean honestly it's the work of these two together you have kind of that more shimmery base and then you have this glowy base and it's really creating a stunning glow and here is my favorite part this blush down here take it and apply it right on top of everything mesh the blush and the highlight together and this is what's going to give you that charlotte tilbury glow i'm telling you this is the charlotte tilbury glow that you see a little bit of that run on the nose all right so moving on to the next product this is the last item for the face this is the hourglass ambient lighting palette this is 64 dollars, but it is worth every penny i actually use this in my makeup kit that is how beautiful it is i just think it looks great on every skin tone and this is what I'm going to do to give my face that final glow and to also blend everything in. What's great is you can use these colors individually, but honestly, I just kind of go through, use them all, and just to give myself a final veil of glow because I really wanted a glowing look. So this is the best trick, honestly. And it blends everything on the cheek to make everything a little bit more subdued. And it also just gives just it just gives that beautiful veil all over the skin without looking too crazy so i've been using this for years it is the best honestly if you want to get into hourglass buy that it's the best value and amazing amazing products hourglass kills it and at this point is when i do like to set my face so this is the dior air flash primer and setting spray i didn't use it as a primer today i'm just going to use it as a setting spray it is 55 dollars and i'm going to be honest i completely forgot that i had this no i guess i just always looked at it and assumed it was a foundation but it's totally not i've used this a couple times though let me just spray it on I've used this a couple times. Honestly, it is not worth the money. 
It smells kind of hairspray-y. It's very fragrant, and I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like that. I think it does help with the longevity a little bit, but not so much that I really notice it, to be honest. It doesn't make me glowier. It doesn't really help too much with melting the makeup in, so this is like throwing $55 in the trash, if I'm being honest. Don't recommend this. So the first eyeliner that I'm going to use today is the Clay de Peau liner. This is $55, ridiculously priced. Now, when I first purchased this, I was in love with it. It really is truly an amazing eyeliner. You get two sides. One side is a tip and then the other side is a brush. This is kind of dried out. It's kind of old, but I'm gonna make it work for this video. So I'm going to speed through this because I cannot talk during this either. So here's just what I love about this eyeliner. This side is great. I love a tip like this, but the baby tip is perfect for perfecting the wings. Uh, it does have a shine to it, so if you like super matte black, then maybe this isn't for you. And I forgot, it's been a while since I've used this since it's drying out, but it's really, really nice. Also, to smoke out kind of my lower lash line a little bit, I am going to be using the Trish McAvoy Gel Eyeliner in Black. This is $30, a little bit more up there as far as pencil liners go. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to run just a little bit along my lower lash line, not necessarily in the water, line but just right on the outside of that so this eyeliner really is intense it is super creamy you can actually just put this on your upper lash line and use a brush and blend it out it is actually like a really good liner if I were to put this in my waterline it would be extremely black and creamy which in a lot of cases is what I would want and it's really good for smoky eyes too so I don't actually use this enough this is a really good gel eyeliner I have the Tom Ford extreme mascara I believe this was a gift with purchase I honestly haven't really used it that much but it is a really good mascara from the couple of times that I've used this this is $46 so I don't know that it's worth $46 but it is really good I'm gonna be honest though I don't know that I'd spend $46 on mascara it's mascara so I'm just gonna put that down but for eyelashes today I'm using my favorite this is definitely one of my top five favorite lashes these are Lily lashes and con now, these specific pairs are a little bit grody so I think this is gonna be my last time using these before I move on to a fresh pair but these are $30. Lily Lashes has the best lashes, if you ask me. They have the prettiest lashes, the best quality lashes. Definitely pricey, but if you take good care of the lashes, you can use them over and over and over and over again. So I'm just quickly going to put these on. Okay, so obviously these lashes, by the way, are like everything. They are one of my favorite. So for lips, I'm starting off with the Tom Ford Lip Contour Duo in Make Me. These are $55 and I love these. Uh, great formula. You have a lipstick on one side and a lip liner on the other. So the lipstick kind of just pulls out. Then you have a lip liner. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to use a lip liner because I have a lipstick that I really want to use for this look. Great formula on both ends. So this one is a bit of a brighter pink. And I want that brighter color on the outside. So just like that. It's almost my lip color, so it makes my lips look a little bit bigger, but it is a bit of a brighter pink as well, so it adds a fun pop of color to the look. And just in case you're interested in purchasing the actual product, the lip color is actually a lot deeper, which is why I only wanted to use the lip liner today. So for lipsticks, I have the lipstick in the shade Ian. So I'm just going to apply that to my lips right here. As you can see, this one's just lighter shimmerier a lot prettier for this type of look using my finger to blend the two together by the way the lipstick is 55 dollars as well and now it's time to move on to the gloss this is 30 dollars. this is the dior lip gloss in the shade mirror i just want something a little bit more warm on top of the cool tone lip to kind of match with the eyes and with the metallic lip color underneath it actually makes it look much more glossier than the gloss is so that's just a fun trick if you want a super glossy gloss, just put a metallic color underneath and then put the gloss on top and super glossy mirrored lips. All right, so I'm gonna get myself together and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so here is the completed look using all of my most expensive makeup. The look that I was going for today was not natural, but just a put together bright eyed glowy look and I really do think I achieved that. Here's time for the important part, the overall price of this video. So <laughs> with all of the products added up together, the total comes to 2,000 and 
$13. So this face right here, I am wearing $2,000 on my face. So that is all I have for today's video. Make sure you check out Erin's channel and her Instagram. She's like so stunning. She knows so much about luxury makeup. You guys are definitely going to enjoy her channel. So go give her a subscribe. Make sure you check out her video to see who won. Really excited to see who won our little challenge. I'm gonna be honest, I think Erin won. She got all the goods. So we will see about that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope this was a fun video for you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.